What's up fams, Unis here from All Clouded and today we're going to look into battery safety. Now there's a few things to cover in this subject so I'm probably going to try to keep it as simple as possible but the main thing we're going to look at is things that we can notice just by looking at them every day before we put them inside our mod and also the way that we store them, um, how to rewrap them and all that other type of shenanigans. Now the main thing we're looking at when we're looking into battery safety is ensuring that this type of stuff doesn't happen. So a lot of stuff that when it comes to things actually exploding and all that other stuff, it is a very hairy topic and I know that batteries have been to the New Zealand but to the record, uh, there's nobody that's actually been hospitalised or badly hurt because of it so we've just got to really try to keep it that way. So there's two main things to take a look at when we're looking at um, the actual physical condition of our battery and that is dents and that's nicks in the battery wraps. So a dent simply looks like this. Now this is the negative portion of the battery. You can see it's actually indented. Now how I think that happened is that I went to put it in the charger and it's one of the battery chargers that it's got the long prongs in that and I think I might have let it go too fast because it's spring loaded and I think it just hit it with a good impact and that was enough to put a dent in it. So something like this you definitely have to chuck it away. I mean they're only like $10 or $15 or something along the lines and you can get them on tap from any vendor in New Zealand. So it's not really any point in keeping it when it can cause a whole lot of shit like this. So when you have a battery that's in that condition, you chuck it away, but you don't just put it in the rubbish. Somebody else is going to be handling the rubbish and what we don't want is any of the images that we've seen to happen to them. Like you have a responsibility, once you step up from an uh, internal device, when you go to something more high powered where you're running one or two of these, you have a responsibility not only to yourself to, to look after yourself and make sure that you don't lose your teeth, but also to other people around you. So what you can do is just do a bit of googling and find out where the closest place near you that will take battery disposal. The second example of the, the second example that we have is nicks in the actual wraps of the battery and they look something similar to, to this. That definitely needs a rewrap. Now the real danger zone is at the top. So at the start of the day when you get them off the charger or you pull them out of the packet all you want to do is just give them a five second look over. Now it's not really hard, it's it's not going to take much effort, just give it a quick look over and make sure that there's no nicks or no dents. Now those looking at getting into tubes or mechanical devices, now there is an absolute zero tolerance for any type of damage uh, physically to your battery. Now there is Ohm's law when it comes into mechs and that type of thing and the main thing with battery safety that we're looking at with Ohm's law is just making sure that you're not overstressing the battery you're not pushing it beyond its uh, rated amp limit i mean the best person to check out is mooch uh, battery mooch um, i follow most of the stuff when i'm looking at that type of thing but also i reach out to other people i get advice from a lot of people that i know that have been vaping for many years now you don't want any dents you don't want any nicks um it's definitely something that you want to take care of. You need to be checking your batteries every day, regulated or unregulated. You still need to do it, but more so when it comes to mechanical devices because there's nothing there to protect you. You are holding it right in your hand, just like you are in your reg mods, but I mean, they've got safety chips in. If you are looking at getting into tubes, this is the stuff that you really need to get down packed. Now, just check them every morning that you take it off the charge, check it before you put it in any device. Just get into the good habits. The good habits is what we're stressing here we just want everybody to be safe now what about your regulated devices now there's an absolute zero tolerance for any type of nick or flay in the top of the battery when looking at the positive it sits right next to the negative and the only thing stopping it is this little insulator cap right there now that is minimal clearance so if there's any type of damage to the top and it hits the connections in your regulated device it can short out now what about the bottom of it so if the ends of the bottom start flaying up 
and you see a little bit of a curl then all you need to do is just try to hunt down a new zealand vendor and get yourself some battery wraps now they're only about a dollar or a couple dollars for a whole pack of them so it's a little bit of price a little bit of effort and you're going to have batteries that are perfectly fine like as if they were brand new so what we need to rewrap our batteries is obviously the battery itself a few wraps somebody's hair dryer and sometimes when it's been a pain in the butt something that's not metal that we can hold the insulator cap down so I just use a toothpick. I mean, you don't always need it, but sometimes it can come in handy. So all you need to do is just start peeling it off. And just make sure you keep that insulator cap. So this is the battery right here with no wrap on it, like I was explaining. There's the negative, but you notice that the whole entire outside is the negative. And there's the positive right there. So they are basically sitting right on top of each other. This is why you can see that it's so important that the top is the whole battery in general, but more so the top because any type of connection between these two is going to cause a serious problem. Once again, whenever you store them, just make sure that they're in some type of protective casing because if it's sitting in your bag, that makes a connection, you've got a big problem. Now, all I want to do, fam, is slide the wrap on like that. Now, all I do is just keep it fairly even just even on both sides just like that i'm just going to start with the negative end of the battery so there's the negative portion done now there is a little bit of flay on that and now at the end of it i'm going to try to iron it out but i basically always do the negative first that's just my own personal preference and that's just to hold it right in there now sometimes the positive can be a pain in the ass just from trying to get this insulator to stay in there so that's why i suggest having something like a toothpick or something that's not going to pierce it obviously but we just don't want anything that's metal to hold it in there now if you're superman you can just hold it down there with your finger just until the first edge curls over and then most of the time the cap will stay in there and you just rotate around it. Now everyone's got their own way of re-wrapping a battery so sometimes I find that starting where the kink is for some reason for me it just works out a whole lot better. And that's how simple it is. It just curls over. Once you get like a little groove, just find the little edge. Once you start curling it, then just rotate it around and it'll bend pretty much fine. So I just get it to that point where there's, if you have a look, there's a bit of a tiny bit of a overhang or, or fray on the top. Tiny little one under the bottom. And now what I'm trying to do here is try to get, uh, I don't know if the camera's picking that up well. You kind of see it there. I try and get that little kink out from the way that I bought it. that right there fam is two re-wrap batteries now they're good to go remember when you're out and about use some type of carry case like this don't just slot them in your bag or put them anywhere because they can make point of contact or they can get damaged wraps and it's not something we want whenever moving them or handling them before putting them in a device that you're gonna vape on just give them a quick look over it only takes a few seconds start putting them away if there's any type of damage physically to the battery and whenever disposing of ones that do have dents in them just google it find out where the closest one near to you is so that you're not chucking them in rubbish and then some other poor guy who's on rubbish collection is going to pick up the bag and the thing's going to blow up on his leg so don't forget fam like comment share subscribe hit the notification button so you can see when my next video is coming out and like always fam keep it cloudy